This video is starting in the kitchen because I have not had lunch yet and I'm starving. I also put on this cute little outfit and in honor of it being Christmas, I decided to put on one of my little Christmas sweaters. So I'm wearing this. I wanna show you guys my outfit, but I'll show you later because it's not fitting. And we're gonna be making some creamy Parmesan chicken, which is one of the only ones I haven't had yet. And it basically is like a fat piece of chicken with broccoli. So it's a pretty good meal if you ask me. I'm gonna move the camera, I think, so that you guys can see my outfit and you can see everything because this angle right now is not as cute, but I also just filmed another video. So I'm a little hungry and tired. So we're gonna make some food. Okay, now that we have a little angle change, I can show you. Here's my shorts and my cute little sweater. I thought this was gonna give the most Christmas vibes. And for this video, we really need Christmas vibes. So, I don't know. I also have been getting a lot into fashion. Speaking of fashion and wearing new clothes, I have been trying a lot harder to put clothes together, put different outfits together because I feel like my productivity when I put on a cute outfit like this, it really motivated me to get out of bed and do something because I had to put on an outfit. So I've been putting on different outfits and trying to actually go to class looking decently okay because wearing sweatpants and a hoodie every day is getting a little old. Because yes, it is comfortable and yes, it is warm, but it's not as fun as actually putting on like a cute outfit like this and going to class. So I've been putting in a little more effort. So today I thought, what better idea after Julia eats her lunch and she's all fed, her stomach is completely, you know, like the Parmesan chicken is in her stomach. Once I feel like I have my energy and the Parmesan chicken's in my stomach, I thought what better idea than to do a little lookbook with you guys for the winter season. Like do a little what Julia's wearing. What kind of clothes could I wear to possibly get myself out of bed? What kind of clothes could I possibly wear to get my crush to like me? Actually, that's the wrong video because it's not working for me, so I'm not gonna give you guys that advice. You know what they always say, don't give advice if it didn't work for you. And it's not working for me. So, so anyway, I thought what better idea than to do a little what to wear this winter season. So. I'm going to eat this, we're gonna talk a little bit, and then Julia's gonna take what she has in her closet because like me, most people don't have the most eccentric closet. They don't have all this fun things that they can make super crazy outfits. A lot of my closet and other people's closet is just basics, so I thought, why not give you guys a little bit of OOTD advice and let's make some outfits together. Our food is almost done. I am getting so hangry. I need this Parmesan chicken in my stomach right now. It needs to happen. Oh, it smells delicious. I love when I take it out and I smell it and a whiff of steam just hits my face. Okay, we're gonna just take this one off. Oh. It looks so good. I also am going on a little trip this weekend. Um, I'm excited for this trip because I'm getting my hair done. If we know where I get my hair done from a previous video, then we already know where Julia's going. But I'm getting my hair done and I'm going on a little trip, which means I'm also probably gonna go shopping because when you go on trips, you get to go to stores that are not around you. And so the shopping is just 20 times better. And I've been saving up my money, you know. I didn't spend too much on Black Friday. I bought nothing on Cyber Monday. I really held myself back so that I would have money saved up that I could spend it while going on a trip. Okay, I'm making a little bit of a mess. Um, I just dripped some cauliflower grits all over the floor, but we can clean it up. We'll clean it up. 
Okay, now that I've cleaned up my mess, let's go enjoy our little Parmesan chicken and give this a try. And then soon enough, this will be in here and we can go get some outfits put together. Before I start eating and enjoying my plate of food, I thought I would show you guys something, which I showed on my TikTok, but I thought this was still funny for anyone who doesn't follow me on TikTok to see my vlogs. I literally am the best because if anybody ever is like, Julia, oh, you know, somebody comes in my room, they're hanging out and they're like, oh, I really am feeling like having a bagel right now. Like I really, I don't know why. I just really want a bagel. Well, guess what? You came to the right spot because look at this. Last night I went and I ordered myself some groceries and I got not one, not two, but three bags of plain bagels because I don't know why I have a little obsession with bagels as we know. This is very obvious, but I wake up at 5.30 a.m. every morning and I walk over to that spot. I pop my bagel in my toaster. I practically burn my bagel and I sit in my room. I watch probably Criminal Minds, maybe like an episode of a show. Sometimes I like to watch 5 a.m. morning routines, whatever really invokes my productivity while eating a bagel. But I recently stocked up, but I'm also a little scared that I stocked up a little too much and they're gonna get moldy. But that's also why I'm gonna put these in the freezer maybe because I looked up last night, I was like, how long can bagels stay in the fridge? And it said that it should only be in the fridge from five to seven days. And I've been keeping my bagels in the fridge for like a week and a half. So I'm scared that I might've consumed mold already but now I know, so I'm going to make sure to put these in the freezer. But now let's go eat our food. I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought it was kind of funny, you know. In case you guys are ever in the mood for a bagel, just come on over. I got, I have, I have a bagel for you. Okay, let's eat our food. Okay, let's try this Parmesan chicken for the first time. We're gonna get a little bit of everything. I've also been making little dinner dates on TikTok. If you don't follow my TikTok, it's honestly okay. I've been making little dinner dates recently and cooking food and it's so fun because I just get to like sit there and involve you guys in my process of cooking my meals. Well, what, could you say cooking? You know, in my head, I'm gonna say that it's cooking. I've been cooking my meals on TikTok for you guys to enjoy them with me. So cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm actually excited because this week I get mine tonight and I'll do a little haul of what I get later on when they come. But I ordered myself some pasta like really good pasta. And I also got some risotto. I got some risotto, which has been my favorite one. Every time I see risotto when I'm picking my little menu of what which ones I'm gonna get for the week, I always pick the risotto because the risotto is the best tasting one. It tastes like the most perfect, delicate piece of rice. But I've been making little TikToks every day of my outfits because I've been trying really hard, like I said, to just put in a little more effort. I feel like sometimes it is nice to sit in your sweatpants and like stuff. And I think that it's dumb to expect everybody every day to put together a really cute outfit and always look good, especially when like a lot of people are like, it's not that hard to put on a good outfit for the day, but you have to think about the process. It almost always ends with a room full of clothes all over the floor because you can't make your mind up. You're constantly going back and forth. You take stuff off, you throw it on the ground, you, and then you have to put it back in the hangers. You gotta fold it. It's a big process to put together a cute outfit compared to just taking off one gray hoodie and a pair of gray sweatpants from your closet. But I've been working recently to just try to put together an outfit maybe two times every week. I've been starting slow, working my way back up. And I've been doing pretty good recently. This is my outfit of the week, number three. 
I've been going strong, but I think by tomorrow, I'm probably going to go back to sweatpants because it's getting a little cold and I'm getting lazy. Okay guys, now that my Parmesan chicken is in my stomach, it is time for us to go start the real reason for this video. It wasn't, I know you clicked on this video thinking, oh my gosh, the real reason for this video is to watch Julia eat her Parmesan chicken. That is not the real reason for this video. The real reason for this video is Julia is going to be doing a little lookbook, making some cute outfits for the December season, giving you guys some inspiration on what outfits to wear. So let's go make some outfits. Let's go guys, let's go to my closet. Let's go make some cute Christmassy winter season outfits. Okay, hi guys. So we are back in our closet because like I said earlier, I wanna come up with some good outfit ideas for the winter season. And right now I'm wearing this one, but I don't know. I thought why not come up with different scenarios and we're going to create a little lookbook, if you may, for the winter season. The first scenario I was thinking about is a coffee date. Because as we know, Julia loves going on little coffee dates. She loves taking Instagram pictures. So I thought, what better than to give you guys some inspiration in case you want to do something that I love and go on your own little coffee Instagram date. So I'm gonna go look at my closet right now and find a cute little outfit Personally, I would maybe wear this, but since it's cold, since I need to get a little out of my box and this is already on my body, I'm gonna go look for another cute little outfit for us for the coffee date and the Instagram pictures we are about to go embark on. Okay, after looking, I found a few things that I think would look good. First, these cute, corduroy pants that I got from Brandy Melville a little while ago. I think personally these flatter me very well. They're very cute for a cafe because depending on where you're going, it's always good to have a little neutral outfit. And then also this brown and black collared shirt also from Brandy because I love doing little monochrome looks sometimes. I think it adds to the Instagram feed. It looks good. So Julia's gonna go change and let's do a little fashion show. Okay. Here's our outfit for our little coffee date scenario, our coffee and Instagram pictures. Personally, accessory wise, I don't have a lot, but I was thinking if I were to style for shoes, I would probably do a nice brown Samba moment, maybe some black Sambas to tie in the collar. Bag wise, I have this bag that I would maybe do. It's this brown corduroy bag from Brandy Melville. Or I would go with like a nice tote bag, a like beige tote bag. But I, I personally prefer a little corduroy pouch, a little purse to keep your makeup in, you know, in case you want to refresh yourself, keep some chapstick, maybe some cash to buy yourself a nice cold brew and a croissant. But that is outfit number one for our little coffee date. Okay, now that we have done our little coffee scenario date now, the next scenario I was thinking is just a casual outfit to go to class. Now that I have my little outfit for our casual school day, first, the first thing I found was this t-shirt. It's a striped black and gray t-shirt from Brandy Melville. The next thing I got is these jeans, also from Brandy Melville. They're very cute. They're a little low-waisted on the butt as well, but you know, we don't have to worry about that because we don't have a butt. The only thing we have to worry about is these falling off of our butt. You know, maybe this isn't the best outfit if you're planning to go run a mile for PE, if it's pacer day, maybe not the best outfit. If you're just going to school, and you need an outfit for just the casual day, this works for people without butts as well. For people with butts and without butts. The next thing, next part of this outfit, in case it's a little chilly and you need something cute, you need just a better accessory, we have a striped gray and black to match the top. 
jacket from Brandy Melville as well. So I'm gonna go try on this outfit and let's let's do a little fashion show for our back to school day. Okay, well, here is our outfit for our back to school day, picture day, whatever day for school. We have. nice pants on it's super comfy it's easy it's something that at 7 a.m. when you just got woken up by your mom or you know your annoying alarm sound and you're in a bad mood you can throw this on and feel a little bit better about the day you're about to go on so cue the fashion show the fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues My pants! The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test. Oh. 